Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the recent invasion that Mexico's having by other Mexicans. Bruh. Yeah, that's right. Mexico is getting invaded by other Mexicans. And namely, Mexicans that are coming from the U.S. of A. Yep, that's true. In fact, that's what we're going to be talking about in today's episode. We're going to be talking about the fact that there are so many Mexicans in the USA right now that would probably be a lot happier living out here in Mexico. As you guys already know, I talk about moving to Mexico on my channel. I'm an American that was born in Miami and both of my parents are Cuban. That's why my name is Jose Atiaga and I speak Spanish. All right. But at the end of the day, I'm American born in the USA. And guess what? It got me thinking the other day, hey, I know a lot of people that are moving out here to Mexico that are in the same position as me, only they're actually Mexican. And so it got me to thinking, well, why, why shouldn't I talk about this? You know, there's a lot of Mexicans or people of Mexican heritage living in the US, US right now that would be a lot happier, that would be much better suited to life out here in Mexico than the life that they're living right now in the USA. There's tons of people that either, you know, were born in Mexico and very little moved to the USA and grew up in the USA and they're basically American or some that were born in the USA to parents from Mexico or again, you know, just people that left at some age, you know, to the USA for a better life and they just made their life in the USA and now it's time to retire and they're coming up with the same exact problems that everyone else out there in the audience is, is you know, coming across, you know, with, you know, with the retirement situation. So a lot of you guys are just saying, well, F it, let me just go back home. And a lot of you guys have already planned this and have been planning this for years, but there's a lot of you guys out there that this is very, very new to you. So this video is a little bit different than most videos. In this video, what I'm really trying to get the attention of is other Mexicans. You know, so many people that are living not just in the USA, but probably all over the world that have some sort of Mexican heritage. And you guys should just come back home because most of you guys, not everybody, you know, there's a lot of Mexicans that live abroad that are very happy with their life in Germany or the USA or Canada or wherever they're at. But there's tons of Mexicans more and more every day that are very dissatisfied with their lives wherever they're at. And they just have no idea how to go about coming out here to Mexico and living in Mexico and starting anew in Mexico. And look, I totally understand this, okay? I was born in the USA, all right? Even though my heritage is Cuban, I'm not really Cuban. Even though I speak perfect Cuban, I have a lot of Cuban mannerisms, Cuban culture, you know, a lot about my life is very Cuban. When I went to Cuba to actually go visit, it was very scary at first, you know what I mean? Because to me, I was thinking, how is Cuba, how are actual Cuban people going to react to someone like me? But long story short, they embraced me with open arms and everything was amazing and wonderful and great. And I was so happy that I actually went to Cuba and I can't wait to go back. And there's a lot of Mexicans out there that probably, probably feel exactly the same way. And you guys, you know, want to come to Mexico, want to live in Mexico, but you've never been to Mexico and you're scared as to how Mexico is going to receive you, how the people out here are going to receive you. And I'm going to tell you from past experience, from other people that have already done that, that I've come across with and so on and so forth and just living out here for so long. Yeah, they receive you just like they receive most people with open arms and especially you that come from Mexico or have some sort of Mexican heritage, Mexican background. In fact, you know, a lot of Mexicans find it very curious as to why you're choosing to come to Mexico, to live in Mexico, to start business in Mexico, to do your thing in Mexico, as opposed to in the United States. And you know, it's a great conversation starter. And um, it also, when you do start this conversation, it also gives a lot of validity, all right, to Mexico becoming a major power, economic power going forward because they see now their Mexican brethren coming back home to start and build Mexico into, you know, the greatest Mexico ever. 
Now, let's not forget, if you have some sort of Mexican heritage, you have a monster advantage when it is to when it is coming to Mexico. Because guess what? Most likely, you're going to be able to get your Mexican citizenship right away through family structure. Assuming you're not a Mexican citizen already. Not only do you have the advantage of Mexican citizenship that allows you to, again, hit the ground running as soon as you get to Mexico, but a lot of you guys know Spanish or some sort of Spanish, some level of Spanish. And so that's also another advantage. Again, I tell you guys all the time, one of the major advantages I had was I knew Spanish. I, I knew fluent Spanish. Now, again, it was Cuban Spanish, and I had to learn Yucatecan, you know, Mayan, you know, Spanish from this area of Mexico. But hey, I learned it, and it was pretty easy in comparison to someone that doesn't know any Spanish, all right? So again, if you know any kind of Mexican Spanish, even if it's, you know, Mexican, American, Spanglish, you know, from LA or Chicago or Texas or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's going to translate very well. You're going to find out that there's a lot of Americanized words and, you know, it's it's not going to be that different to what you already know. So if you know Spanish, that's a major advantage that you already have. But guess what? There's a lot of you guys that are Mexican, you know, Mexican heritage, Mexican born again, fall into this category, but you know zero Spanish. I know a lot of you guys out there that don't know any Spanish. Again, it doesn't matter. You know, you're going to be able to learn it out here and, and they're going to embrace you anyway, same as if you didn't, as if you didn't know Spanish. Of course, it's going to be a lot easier to integrate and intertwine and do things out here if the more Spanish you know, but even if you don't know Spanish, Trust me, it's still fine because at the end of the day, it's that whole idea of, you know, Mexicans that are realizing, oh, wait a minute, Mexicans are coming out here now and they want to make Mexico great again in whatever capacity. So, you know, for the most part, you know, they're not looking at you in any bad way. They're looking at you like, oh, wow, you know what I mean? Like you're coming from abroad, you know, you're coming back home, you know, yada, 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 all that that comes with it. Now, I know a lot of you guys are also extremely concerned with safety out here because, again, I, I totally get it. You know, not every Mexican that was born and raised in the in the USA came from Compton or East L.A. or Chicago or, you know, whatever, all the bad areas, you know, in the USA. A lot of Mexicans out there, you know, just like a lot of Cubans or a lot of Latino people out there and other immigrants in the USA, we come from pretty good backgrounds or middle class families or, you know, just a regular life out in uh, in the U good old U.S. of A., you know, and, uh, you know, for a lot of people, you know, the, it's just the same reality that a lot of Americans have, you know, when they think about Mexico, which is the, the whole idea idea of safety and danger and that you know you're going to get shot and you know it's just danger everywhere and uh, the cartel is going to kidnap you or the police are crazy corrupt and they're going to kidnap you and and just all of these horrible things that the reality is they're not true and so what i tell people is hey, look if you're coming from the hood all right any kind of latino hood or neighborhood in the usa you'll be fine out here Trust me, <laughs> you know, it's not going to be a problem there. But even if you don't come from the hood, let's say you come from a really good background, you know, hey, you might have come from an upper middle class family and you don't even speak Spanish or Mexican. And you're probably thinking, oh, my God, how am I going to, you know, get along or live out here? You'll be fine just as well. So seriously, nothing to worry about. The safety issue is not you know what may you know most people think it is and like i said you know most people already know by this point it is a lot more dangerous in the usa than it is in most of mexico again you know we can debate this all day but at the end of the day we already know you know it's all about you know <laughs> keeping your nose out of trouble we're in the u in mexico all right just you stay out of trouble you'll be fine in the usa unfortunately trouble finds you and this is the reality of it and that's why a lot of people are probably watching this video right now and uh, you're still at this point in the video because that this is also pertaining to you in the sense that you know you just don't feel safe anymore you probably never felt safe anymore and you probably realize that you don't have any more opportunities in the usa and uh for a lot of mexicans that left mexico at one point and already, in a sense, you know, the whole American dream has dried up. Well, just like a lot of other immigrants, you know, whether you're Dominican or Jamaican or whatever country you're coming from, a lot of people that have gone to the U.S. for better, you know, prosperous lives and all that has dried up. Well, guess what? A lot of people have just gone back home and they've done that every time there's an economic downturn. It happens all the time. This is nothing new. So 
I remember back in 2008, you know, like in Miami. Miami is every single immigrant from Latin America known to man living in Miami. And uh, I remember back during the, during the 2008 uh, downturn that a lot of people were like, all right, we're done. I'm packing my bags. I'm going back to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, uh, Costa Rica, Brazil, whatever. Name the country. And they just left. You know, obviously, you know, there's a continuous cycle of immigrants coming into the U.S. So more people keep coming in. So as people are leaving, you know, people are coming in. This is no different. So this is why I'm, I'm bringing this up, because, you know, not only are people still coming into the USA as immigrants, but guess what? You know, they're coming into Mexico as well. And um, a lot of people that watch this channel, you know, are not necessarily Mexican or have many kind of Mexican background. They just come from every other part of the world. There are mostly are American with American backgrounds. And guess what? They're coming out here and a lot of them, you know, they're watching my videos and they're taking advantage of the situation and they're being able to you know create their american dream or their mexican dream out here in mexico so what's stopping you cabrón you know get out here already and do what you got to do you know especially again not every mexican there's a lot of mexicans that have a lot of success in the usa just like a lot of other people you know it is the truth you know the usa is not all downtrodden and horrible all right let's not forget that okay it might be going through some hard times but come on it's still the usa so um, you know, with that being said, there is a lot of Mexicans that are still very happy and living in the USA and they don't want to come out here. But there's a lot of Mexicans, again, that are probably first or second or third generation. Um, a lot of you guys, you know, again, they fall into all these categories that I've already mentioned before. Most of you guys are already looking for a way out and you guys have no idea that the way out is is right next door. It's, it's just going back home, literally. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. You know, if Cuba was awesome, like Mexico that's probably what I, where I would have gone when I left the USA. But since Cuba was a communist, you know, heck hole, I don't know what else to say. It's not so good. Um, I didn't go to the US, I didn't go to Cuba. I mean, come on, you know, give me a break. You know, so I ended up in prosperous and amazing Mexico. And my God, you know what I mean? Like I am always, always so grateful and thankful. You know, in fact, a lot of times when I make these videos is part of that, you know, because I'm trying to give back. I'm trying to help Mexico grow and I'm trying to get, you know, the right people out here to make it grow. I mean, and by the way, I have no control over who comes out here. Who am I? I'm just a guy on YouTube. But the reality is, is that the more information is given to you guys, the better you know, informed decisions you guys can make about anything and everything. So again, a lot of immigrants out there, mostly Mexican born, Mexican background or heritage of some shape, form or another, you know, you guys are American and you're not happy anymore, just like a lot of other Americans are. And guess what? You have an easier way, an easier route to get here. Because again, even if, you know, you're like second generation, you know, as long as you can prove, you know, grandma or whoever, you know, was born in Mexico, you got your citizenship like that. You're good to go. You know, just pass go, get your 200 bucks and you're, you got it. So, you know, why not? You know, a lot of you guys already come out here to vacation, to come visit cousins, to come visit family, abuela, ya tu sabe, the whole thing. Imagine being able to live out here in this awesomeness that is Mexico. Look, I get it. It's not for everybody. There's a lot of you Mexicans, you know, that, you know, love life the way you have it in the USA. Well, guess what? You can live that life out here as well. All right. You guys already know. You guys know more than anyone else. All right. That there are plenty of cities all over Mexico in which, you know, they're just as good or better than in the USA. All right. And again, you're not going to come out here and get a, you, which by the way, you can you know, I'm not, you know, because a lot of people are going to already say, hey, I'm Jose, why am I going to go to Mexico and get a job in Mexico? I'm, that's not going to pay me. That's not the idea. If you're coming out here and your idea is you got to make some income because you're not retired, but, you know, you kind of come out here and work and make income like me and a lot of other people. Well, guess what? You have all the advantages in the world and you can start your own business. You can bring all your skills out here. All of the skills that you've learned in the USA OK, think about it. You can come out here and put them to work. You can start your own business. You can just, you know, help. OK, build Mexico, you know, again. So, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, you're not going to come out here to starve. You're going to come out here to prosper because guess what? You cannot prosper in the USA anymore. A lot of people cannot prosper in the USA anymore. But you, the lucky few, well, the lucky few millions, right? There's a lot of millions, there's millions and millions of Mexicans in the USA and abroad but anyways all of you guys that understand perfect english 
understand everything I'm saying. Think about the advantages that you're going to have coming back home, coming back to the motherland, all right, and bring in all of the skills, bring in that English, you know, bring in everything, you know what I mean, the contacts that you probably have from your home country or wherever you're at, and I can go on and on and on, okay, so it's up to you, you know, whether you want to take advantage of this or not, trust me, there's a lot of people that are coming from all over the world, they don't even speak Spanish, that are taking already advantage of this, so why aren't you? All right. Stop thinking about it and make it happen. There's so many people out there that fit into this category. This is why I decided to make this video. I don't know if this video is going to get a lot of views or not, but I, I think it should. I mean, I mean, I hope it does. You know what I mean? That's the idea um, because the reality is, is that there are a lot of people that are falling through the cracks. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are Mexican or have some sort of Mexican heritage or background that, again, I don't even know why you're suffering, you know, where you're at when you could be living it up like me and a lot of other people that you watch living out here and, and, and just loving life out here. You, the same thing could be said for you. You could do the same thing out here and, and, you know, live a lot more better, comfortable life here than wherever you're at. Now, the reality is, is that the reason I really brought this topic up more than anything else was the fact that I was uh, online, you know, just on YouTube and, you know, just scouring through the YouTube's internets and i came across these videos that were suggested to me by the algorithm hopefully like this video is being suggested to you that was in spanish and it was basically you know someone that speaks perfect english probably from the usa um speaks spanish and was basically again you know enticing or basically kind of trying to sell mexico to the mexicans and, and it was just kind of, you know, made my head this, you know, think a, a lot, you know, of all my experience that I've had out here, all the people that I've met, all the expats that have come out here and, and how many of them are actually Mexican heritage and so on and so forth. And it was just like, oh, wait a minute, but that's true. Imagine, imagine if a lot of the Mexicans that live in the USA right now just come back home, come back to Mexico. So that's why I'm making this video, because the reality is you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, right now should be here. They should just be coming back here, should be making plans to come back here. A lot of you guys, you know, have family ties to Mexico, probably have some sort of property out here. Um, I mean, you know your situation better than anyone else. You have a probably a really good situation out here in Mexico, and you don't even know you do. You probably just have no idea until you actually do the research and find out and ask mom or ask abuela or ask whoever you got to ask, you know, cousin, Pepe, whatever. I don't know. Do they have Pepe's in Mexico? I don't think so. There's only a Cuban thing, I think. Anyways. Bruh. <laughs> ask Juan, right? Juan? Yeah, Juan sounds more Mexican name. Anyways, uh, the point I'm making is that at the end of the day, why shouldn't you be taking advantage of this situation? You know, you should also be looking into this very important issue, important topic that is affecting you. Should you know, it's probably you know, right now you are thinking to yourself, my God, you know, I'm not, I'm barely making it here in the U.S. I can barely make my bills. I can barely make, you know, whatever. I can barely make it happen. My life sucks. I can, I can never go out and have fun with family. I can never go out and have fun with friends. I gotta work, work, work. Uh, I, you know, you already know. So again, you know, it goes without saying, there's so many of you right now that are living in the USA that are living, you know, paycheck to paycheck. You know, you're basically hating life. Um, you can don't really see any kind of future ahead of you. Um, there's no way that you could ever like start a business or, you know, really, you know, move up and, and you know, prosper in the USA. And, you know, the longer you think about it, the more you realize that everything is getting stacked up against you. And you forget that you're Mexican and that you can just come to Mexico and, uh, I don't know, like reach, you know, all of those goals and get everything that you've always wanted and really, you know, attain that American dream, a.k.a. the Mexican dream. And, uh, you know, again, have freedom out here, not just real freedom, but also financial freedom, you know, probably start your own business, you know, be able to raise your kids the right way, you know, maybe find a partner if you haven't found a partner. Um, again, live life like you really want to live life. All right. Instead of, you know, um, a go, 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 you know, USA mentality type of life, you know, you can come out here and live the life everyone else in your family is probably already living, you know, your cousins and all that other stuff. And I could go on and on. You know, the reality is that you coming back to Mexico 
it's probably going to be the best decision you've ever made. And no matter what your position is, in fact, you know, I, I would argue that the better the position you are in the USA, the more you should actually be out here. Because the reality is, is that, my God, can you imagine, you know, again, if you put all that money, all that investment, all that skill, every single thing that you've built in the USA, can you put that to work out here? My God, just think about it, you know, just think about how awesome that would be and, uh, you know, how much success you can actually have here. If you've been a success in the USA, imagine the success you can have here. And again, you know, it's just it translates even more. But again, even if you have just fallen on hard times and you really don't have any kind of success, you know, you'll make it out here. Look at me. Look at my story. I made it out here with about a thousand five hundred bucks to my name, a few bags and, and a few hopes and prayers. And I did just OK and just in fine. Pretty good. OK, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So imagine you imagine you that might actually have some family out here that you actually know the Mexican culture that you probably already visited Mexico multiple times that you probably and I can go on and on. All the advantages, you know, are on your side. So what's stopping you from making it happen? Well, you know what's stopping you. So if you're watching this video, I think it's finally time that you bite the bullet, right? Is that how the, anyways, just make it happen. Start figuring out how you're gonna restart your life and make your awesome dream, you know, come true by coming back home and coming to Mexico. So I really hope that this video made sense. I really hope that this video was, uh, you know, um, something that a lot of people are gonna watch um, that, you know, is going to help a lot of people because at the end of the day, that's all I'm trying to do here. And with that being said, I, was, I want to give a special thanks to all the patrons, all the subscribers, all the members out there, all everyone watching. OK, everyone that has already hit the like button, every single one that is a new subscriber out there. I've seen a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new growth lately. Shout out to everybody. Thank you to everyone that has, you know, given me a donation in the past and everyone that has helped out the show and everyone out there, you know who you are. Shout out to everyone out there. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, you already know, um, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.